In this video, we're going to go over arithmetic operators in PHP. And for those of you who have taken other programming tutorials, this will look somewhat familiar. Now, there are seven basic arithmetic operators in PHP. And there are the big four, I like to call them, addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. Then there is the modulus operator, and there is the increment and decrement operators. And we will talk about all of these in this video. So first things first, let's go ahead and create a variable here. And as you know by now, we need to use the dollar sign. And so we'll just do a very simple variable, and we'll give this an assignment of 10. That's the value we'll assign to it. And then let's go ahead and create another variable, and we'll just call that b. And we'll give this uh, a value of 5. And then we're going to create a third variable, which will give us the result. And then what we're going to do is we'll first use the addition operator. And this is extremely simple. So we'll just say A plus B. Pretty simple stuff again. And then, of course, we need to echo out the results of our variable. And if we've done everything correctly, this should total 15. Let's hope it does. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and refresh our page, and it does. And we'll just walk through these very quickly. So if we subtract 10 from 5, we, of course, should get 5, hopefully. Refresh our page, and we do. And then let's go ahead and divide these. And hopefully we get two. We refresh our page, and we do. And let's go ahead and do the final one, the multiplication. We'll refresh our page over here again, and we get 50, which is what we wanted. Now let's talk about the modulus operator and what that is all about. Now this basically gives us the remainder of a division. So if you divide something and there's no remainder, you'll get zero. But if there is a remainder, then we'll get essentially the leftovers. So I'll show you how this works right now. Now you use the percent sign for the modulus. So we'll go ahead and use this. So what will happen here is 10 will be divided by 5. Now we should get 0, right? Because there's nothing left over. That divides evenly. So let's go ahead and refresh this. And we do get 0. But what if we switch this to 4? Let's switch our variable b to 4. Let's save this. Now what should happen here is this won't divide evenly, right? There will be a remainder here. And it should be a remainder of 2, right? So let's go ahead and refresh this, and that's exactly what happened. Now let's switch this to 15 and 7. So guess what the remainder should be? It should be 1, right? Because the closest that we can divide this is 14. So there should be 1 left over. So let's save this, let's refresh it, and we get 1. Now if we put 14 here, well, that divides evenly. We should have no remainder now. And there you can see we've got 0. So that's how the modulus works. Now let's go ahead and talk about the increment and decrement operators. So let's go ahead and get rid of this variable. And then all we're going to do is respecify the variable here. And we're just going to put a increment operator right next to it. That's all you have to do. And then, of course, we need to close this out with a semicolon. And then we're just going to echo out uh, this variable now. Now this should give us 15. So let's go ahead and hit this. And we do. We get 15 which is what we expected. Now, this is just a short way to increment the value of our A variable. You could actually write this out if you wanted to. So you could say dollar sign $A equals, and then you could put dollar sign $A plus 1, and then that would give you the same result. We're not going to do that here, but it's the same thing. Decrement operator does exactly the opposite. It should decrement it by 1. So now we should get 13. If we refresh our page, yep, we get 13. So that's it. As you can see, these are pretty simple. I will see you guys in the next video.